day three in Vercargill, pouring rain, freezing cold. It's a typical day on the road with the Harley <laughs> Roadshow. <laughs> So today we're going to go to the motorcycle mecca, classic motorcycle mecca museum because we're not getting out and about today, it's just too bloody cold for wet. so we'll do this, the, uh, the well, touristy in, Indoor stuff <coughs> Yeah, all the touristy stuff, yeah. let's go We read what did that cost? Four. Oh, the cup. Hang on, start again. It was $142. Yep. Um, but she said you can use the 12, no, start again, you can use the pass for up to 12 months. Okay, yeah, but also it's for two venues too. Two venues, it? yeah. Two venues, and you come and go as you please all day long. Yeah, for 12 months. Yep. So you can come, have a holiday, come back six months later and still use the pass. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very good. So I don't know if you know the story of John Britton. So John Britton was a New Zealand engineer and who built his own bikes. Uh, the guy was just a freak. Like he he was the first guy that started to you know introduce different things like carbon fibre. He he made the race bike. Um, he incorporated the frames. It was a frameless race bike. Now, there's a there's a movie you can watch about it if you're keen to have a look. But uh, it was just the stuff he did was. Absolute cutting edge, nobody done it before, so we reduced the weight on the bike. And he actually, uh, he won at Daytona against what like, factory bikes. So, factory bikes have got an unlimited budget. This guy did it all of his, you know, forged his own um, uh, engine, and everything in his, in his backyard, uh, just did everything himself. Just an absolute visionary. And he started doing things like from when he was 11 years old. So, to do what he did was just amazing. Unfortunately, he passed away with uh, skin cancer when he was still very young, but um, just an absolute visionary. And um, you know, because New, because New Zealand was so far away from everything, he had to do everything himself, like all sorts of stuff he did himself. It was just amazing, an amazing story. If you get a chance, check it out. How nice is that, Bella set? Craig Matthews, that's for you. So they're all Hendersons, as you can see. Now, honestly, there's so much here to look at. To me, to try and film it all for you, would, this video would go forever. And, uh, you're not going to be interested in watching it for that long, but we're trying to do the best we can and show you everything that's here. But honestly, if you get a chance, if you're ever over here, come and have a look at this because this is mind blowing. Now, these are Indians. These obviously still when motorbikes were still just evolving from bicycles, so it's just crazy. Any of you Moto Guzzi fans out there, check this out. It's a 1952 Moto Guzzi Falcon. The top speed of 137 kilometers per hour. Any 
cool is that? 350cc. That's a that's a really cool looking bike. They call it the pea shooter. Look at this sunbeam. So a lot of these early manufacturers were actually uh, firearms manufacturers as well. So you'll see a lot of a lot of the emblems. They got like a you know they'll have. Um, uh, like Royal Enfield, for example, and uh, this one here was the Belgian one. They, they've got rifles on the emblems as well. So, what they would have done after, you know, coming into World War, uh, this would be World War One. They would have stopped production on motorcycles and gone into production of rifles and vice versa. They came out of it back to motorcycles. It was very interchangeable back then. A lot of them back then also used the same engines, but just in different their own their own uh, bikes. So they didn't actually make the engine. They actually made the frame and all the other stuff and used like a generic engine on them. This here's the family truckster of the motorcycle world. How cool is that? 1964 Panther. So you could fit a couple of people in there, look at that. Tipping the handling wouldn't be that good. I don't, I don't think I've seen you smile this much for ages. It's like you're in your own little world here. I know, I can stay forever. Although I must admit, it's beautiful. All the bikes here are just like you don't know where to look. There's just so many. Have you got a favourite yet? Oh, I, I can't yet. I still have to go downstairs and upstairs. So I. You know, as far as design goes, this BMW over here stands out. I'll come take you over. Just the way the lot, the pinstrip, and everything follows the lines of the bike. I just reckon it looks absolutely awesome. Oh. Check this out, the Rudge Rapid. Even for their day, these bikes look, they look sporty and sleek, don't they? This, this is, just, I mean, some of them, I mean, they're all nice, but some of them just stand out, and this one stands out. Have a look at the paint on this one. That's just a pretty looking motorcycle. Now this AJS was one of the ones my grandfather had, 1931 AJS, V-Twin. That is just class. So what do you reckon guys? You, you enjoying the, the have you been here before? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Third time. Yeah. 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 Mind blowing, isn't it? It is. It, it is. is. It's it's fantastic. Very good. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah? Yeah. First yeah. time for me. First time with you as well. And you watch the show here, is that right? No, no. Oh you watch the show, yeah? Poor bastard. And where are you but coast based? In Melbourne, no, Australia. Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. But we're down here because, you know, like, this is the place to be. Well, we're Australia and we've come across and hired bikes in Christchurch and... Yeah, we could... Well, you probably took our bikes. We, we actually came here to hire bikes and there was none left. So oh, we, really? we, yeah, well, we Ours were booked 10 months ago. Yeah. So we, we, we pick up our bikes in Queenstown. Oh, okay. So we go from here to Queenstown, then we start riding from there. Okay. But um, what do you reckon so far? Oh, that's brilliant. Good, brilliant. Uh, yeah. The whole country yeah, yeah. is just beautiful. It's yeah. spectacular. Yeah, it's just beautiful. The ride yeah. down the west coast through the Alps, you know. Sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've got to do that. We've, oh, we've, got, to do it. we've got one hour of rain the whole trip. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What did I just say about British motorcycles, <laughs> mate? Oh. So we've come up to the second floor and it's just as good as the bottom floor. Heaven for you. Yes. 
A Mecca to the Aquaman. Successful, the prettiest water I've seen is bloody close. Now, like I said before, it's very hard to convey museums on video. You really got to come and experience yourself. I've shown you a lot of stuff, but what, there's just so wow, much. There's just so many. It's, and floors and floors of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's too much to, like, it's just too, too much to film. Like, it's just, unless you're here. You have to get off the couch and yep. come and have a look. Exactly <laughs> right. It's, uh, I know it's a big trip for you Aussies, but if you're ever down here, come and have a look at it because it is. It's um, worth it. Yeah, it's Trust well me, it's worth, worth it. it. It's, I've never seen so many uh, pristine vintage motorcycles as I have here. I mean, I've been to Nabiak, Nabiak was very cool, but this is another story altogether. Next yeah. level, next level, isn't it? Oh, for sure, for sure. Just every, every, <laughs> every turn, mm. every corner you turn, you see another thing, oh my God, oh my all, God. all you hear is all the guys going, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> it's nuts, it is nuts. I mean, have a look at this around there. Well, that's, mate, that's the uh, moto, motorcycle mecca. Unbelievable. I, I've just had so many moments where I've been just, the breath has been taken out of me. You know, that, I mean, that was just seeing me in the shower this morning. No, that was the, <laughs> that was the lunch was taken out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but mate, it, it really, this, this place is incredible. To me, this made the trip to New Zealand alone worth it. Yeah, it's just... Uh, I never knew, I mean, looking at the front of the, the building, it doesn't look this big, but when you come in here, it's like the bloody yeah, TARDIS. It just yeah, keeps opening up yeah, more and more yeah, and more. Yeah, more and more and more. And, and, I mean, the building itself is magnificent, but oh. the bikes within it are just insanely good. Yeah, it is they unbelievable. They are insanely good. So if you haven't been here, guys, get down here. Oh, uh, mate, if, if you're coming to New Zealand especially, yep. you, you've got to make it this far. It's absolutely. So this is stunning. Um, I think we might go and do another lap. Let's go.